The Fidelio Overture was Beethoven's fourth and final attempt at writing an opera overture. This one stuck. The allegro subject is introduced by the second horn. The theme packs in a lot of technical issues into a short amount of time. It helps to deconstruct it and then put it back together. Let's start with the last two measures. It helps to slur the four quarter notes going down to the low B to get used to the jaw position getting lower for each successive note. The vowel changes from tsu to the to tho. These vowels drop the jaw to create more and more open space in the oral cavity. I like to crescendo as I go down the arpeggio since the lower notes don't project as well. Now let's back up to measures 51 to 54. This legato phrase works very well with vowels and jaw positions. Sing using the vowels, then finger breathe for jaw positions. Su hi hu 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 hi. The H's help us control the timing of the slurs and gives the theme some zip, hope, and joy. Still working backwards, let's look at measures 49 to 50. Tsu, da da, is a very important motive in the overture. Beethoven was a very motivic composer. It helps to think of how strings would bow this. Down, done up. The dotted quarter needs to be full value, the next two notes lifted. Once all the small components are worked out, then put it all together and play with lightness and love. <laughs> 